All right, class, we have another mini lesson to do with Miguel. And this one is going to be on context clues. We know we're going to come across words as we read, as we read that um, are unfamiliar, and then we lose confidence. We don't know how to pronounce that word. We don't know what that word means. And we like to equip you with some strategies to try out when you reach a word like that. And most times we tell you to stop and look around the word, look for clues in the words and sentences that surround that particular word. And more likely than not, you're going to figure out what the word means just by looking at the context around it. Most specifically, we're going to talk today about um, looking for words that help you compare the meaning of that mystery word that you're stuck on. All right. Use comparison. You can think about how the unknown word is similar or different to nearby words or phrases. All right, so we're going to take an example right out of the passage. This word is disdain. Say it with me now. Disdain. Now, if you know what the word disdain is, great. Just pretend that you don't know what it is. But for most of us, if you've never heard or seen this word before, here's how it's used in this story. By the end of October, Jake and I had become good friends. It happened because I was so hopeless trying to do my math homework. I have a disdain for math, especially fractions. To me, fractions are a foreign language. I may as well be trying to learn Greek or Latin. So one day, I approached Jake after school. So we came across this word disdain. It's highlighted for us. And we start looking backwards. We go back and say, all right, I was so hopeless trying to do my math homework. All right. So if you are hopeless, you just have no um, confidence. Well, I kind of have a feeling that you're not going to like it very much then. Um, so your math homework probably brings a lot of bad feelings up when you're stuck doing it. So you can kind of get the sense of the negativity uh, that Miguel has when he's talking about math. So clearly we can at least figure out that disdain has something to do with disliking. It's pretty much a very strong way of saying you hate something. I dislike it um, severely. Okay. So that brings us to these um, examples. All right. So I want you to check out this first one, situated. All right. The word is situated. It's, it's being used like this. Another big change is that I'm no longer situated in the middle, middle of the classroom. My seat is now in the front row. We're going to give you some choices below to see if you can figure out what the word situated means. All right. So pause it here. Answer that one. Number two, session. That night, Jake, Jake and I had a study session and it was time well spent. All right, go down below and figure out what session means. And last one, brain teaser. Okay, read the context here. Maybe pause it. And what does a brain teaser mean? This is how you use comparisons and context clues to figure out these mystery words that we come across. And that should give you more confidence in your reading.